Hello everyone, it's B Sims here, and I wanted to go ahead and check out the brand new game pack for The Sims 4, The Sims 4 Dine Out. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the create a sim items and see what's new. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and start out with the uh, female sim, uh, but first I just want to say, if there is a lot of background noise, I am sorry. We are <laughs> right in the middle of a tropical storm. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that, but I do apologize. Um, and also, I have just ran through the pack really quickly because um, I just wanted to make sure I would get everything and not miss something. So, I think I have it for the most part. Again, I will apologize if I do miss something. Um, but we'll just go ahead and take a look. There is no um, new aspirations or traits. I did already run through all of those, and all of those are the same. Nothing new there. But we do have some new creative some items. So we'll just start um, from the top. So as far as new content, we'll just go ahead and sort by pack. <clears throat> excuse me so we'll sort by dine out and we have three new hairstyles the first one is just a short little bob with some um, nice bangs in the front not really my cup of tea on hairstyle but it is cute and I'm sure there's plenty of sims that would look lovely in it um, the next one might be my favorite just because I do really love the side swept bang. It is just a short hairdo that's pulled back in a little ponytail, which, you know, is perfect for this pack. You throw your hair back and um, get to waitressing or cooking or whatever it is that you, you do in the restaurant. But I, I really, I really love this haircut or this hairdo. I'm sorry. Oh. It looks good. And every color I, it feels like it just it just looks good <laughs> and then the last one is a longer hairstyle that is um, nice and full has a lot of body to it nice curls very classy it does have um, little barrettes in the side on both sides that are green and they do not change color no matter what hair uh, color you have so that's the only thing that I don't really like about it only because you know it could definitely clash with an outfit depending um, and with that I if they were gonna keep just one specific color I would have preferred them to make it like a nice cream or something neutral but I do still love the hair I think it's very pretty and it's really a toss-up between the two but I kind of feel like just because this nice side set, set, um, swept bang I, I find myself liking this one more <laughs> mm. um, as far as hats go let me go ahead and filter again there is a chef hat and <laughs> this hat is so funny to me I think because it's just so big it looks just like a giant cupcake or something on top of her head um, it is cute though and it comes in many colors purples and reds and all of that so <laughs> we'll go ahead and just leave this off for now there are no new accessories um, no makeup but we do have new clothing items. So let me go ahead and sort again. And here we go. So we have the first new blouse. Oh. It's cute and floral on the front, plain in the back. I do love this cute little detail with the bow and the tie with the mm. exposed back. I think that's very cute. It does have many colors as well, just to show a few. A very cute top. The other top that we have, um, 
I think is more so just meant for the restaurant career, unless you just have a really eccentric sim who loves aliens and martinis and they just want to wear a vest about it. That's cool too, but it's just a cute little quirky vest. And then if we jump over mm. to the bottoms, I have to filter again. I wish it would just stick on there. <laughs> but <clears throat> we do have a nice pair uh. of slacks. I do really like the, um, the cupping at the bottom, how it just falls over the back of the shoe or the heel or whatever it is that you're wearing. They do have multiple colors, some white, some khaki, red, plenty of different colors to choose from. And then just a pair of skinny jeans with a tied in the back apron. And that has different colors as well. We do not have any <clears throat> excuse me new shoes in the pack but we do have some full body outfits Ooh. so we'll go ahead and take a look at those most of them are just geared toward restaurant like serving waitressing hosting chef things like that so here's the first one a nice suit with the apron lots of different colors to choose from and then here is a dress which I am in love with. I think this is absolutely adorable. It has um, a lot of different recolors. And I, I honestly like every single recolor. It's, they're all different in their own way. This one is probably my favorite. Just nice and subtle. I really love it. And then I love the fact that they put in solids. So we have a nice solid black and a nice solid white, mm. and then in, like even a little bit of um, inverted. So a uh, white on top, black on bottom, and vice versa. And then a few other colors. I appreciate the solids. I, I just love the dress. I think it is very cute. It just has a simple uh, straight line down the back. It's very nice. The next is a dress with a sweater that is belted. So it's just a, um, a belt that has the bow on the, the front, cinched at the waist, very cute. It has um, different recolors mm -hmm. as well that keep with the floral theme. There's several in there, just going through them quickly. <sighs> but they do have solids, which I actually, in this particular dress, prefer the solids more as opposed to the other dress. Um, I do like the solids, but I did find myself gravitating more towards the florals. But in this one, I think I like the solids more. There's less going on, I guess. It's just a little less busy. But still a really cute dress. Either way. The next um, is another type of diner outfit restaurant outfit multiple recolors for those as well and again another the same type of top this time with um, jeans and then the apron on bottom I like how with the different recolors it does also change the color of like the notebook and the the pen I think that's pretty cool nice little detail Next is just polo shirt with some slacks and the apron, maybe like a dishwasher or something. Um, different colors in this as well. And my probably my favorite is this one, which is funny, but it is very realistic. I mean, imagine working in a kitchen, cooking food for hours on end. I'm sure you're going to get plenty of spills and food on you I mean this is me after like 10 minutes <laughs> in the kitchen so it's just realistic I think it's cute I mean Ooh. it does look a little gross <laughs> but again realistic 
So lots of other recolors with just the regular as well. And then the last one, this one reminds me of like a diner, a diner type outfit. This one's the skirt with the apron. Plenty of recolors, some cute pinks and blues and yellows, and then just basics as well. So those are all really cute. Um, as far as accessories go, I'm pretty sure there was no new accessories either, but I'll just double check. Yeah, no new accessories in there. But that's all for the female. Let's go ahead and take a look Rainick. at the male. Okay, so for the male, we'll just go ahead and start up at the hair as well. They only have one um, male hair, but it's a nice hair. <laughs> it's very like Prince Charming or just suave. I don't know. It just looks really good. I like it. <laughs> He's cute. So just some different colors. Hmm. The browns and the blacks. And hmm. we have some blonde. Looks really good. Some red. I think it's a really nice hair. The only thing is that there is some uh, clipping in it right here. You can see at this angle. Which I don't know if. Because this is in the way but you can see the clipping going through and I don't know I hope they fix that I don't see it anywhere else but just in that one specific um, spot there is some clipping I mean not a, a huge deal but just noticed it there and then as far as the hats go, they do, the Mel Sims do have the same <laughs> cupcake chef hat on top. Same um, recolors as well. And then no new accessories, no makeup. <laughs> but let's take a look at the tops. So as far as the tops go, they do have more tops than the females. Um, they have a nice uh, jacket with a tie. I really like this. It's kind of like cinched around the waist, you know, form fitting for the men. Different recolors for it. It's a very nice top. I like it. I really do. And then we have one. Um, I think this one's more geared toward the restaurant as well. Just a button down. Maybe a host or a meter D or <gasps> server, whichever. And then we have a um, shirt with a sweater over top and the tie, rolled up sleeves. Very cute. He looks very handsome. Definitely for a night out. Or maybe he's the owner of the restaurant. Who knows? He looks good though. And I like the top. And the next one is a little more high class, I guess you would say. A shirt, again, with a vest um, and a tie. Plenty of recolors. And I like how a lot of this stuff um, can be used, like, you know, in a lateral sense. It doesn't just have to be used for uh -huh. restaurants. Our Sims could wear this formal or every day or just whatever. Looks really good. And then the same quirky, kooky, <laughs> fun vest. They do have that as well. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the bottoms. They have the same um, type of bottoms. The jeans with the apron. The same re recolors. And then they have the new slacks, which also hug the heel. And I'm pretty sure they're the um, same recolors as well, like the khakis, the whites, the blues. No new shoes and no new accessories. Now for their full body, these are all geared toward <gasps> the restaurant. Hmm. The apron outfit with all the different recolors. I really like the red one. Reminds me of something you'd have in like an Asian themed restaurant. 
And then, of course, my favorite, <laughs> the messy one. And then the next one is just that button down with the apron with the changing mm. colors of the pen and the notebook. And then the uh, polo with the apron. Have a dirty one. Mm. And then really colorful ones. And then just more subtle, solid colors. And then lastly, the button-up polo with the small belted apron. Mm. This one, <laughs> um, again, could be like 50s theme or diner theme. And that's all we have for that. Mm. So let's just take a look at the um, children's sims. Turkey because they do actually have a few things. Not a whole lot, but the boys do have um, an adorable new hair. I love this hair. It's just so cute. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. It's definitely something you see little boys um, have today. This mm. is definitely the type of hair, hairstyles I see. And it's it's really cute. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. I think they did a really great job. I think it looks awesome. And my Sims will definitely wear it. <laughs> they don't have any hats or um, accessories either. I just want to make sure what that is. Okay, no. <laughs> I didn't think that it was there, but just wanted to double check. And then they do have new tops. So the same as like the adult male sim. The um, vest with the button down top and the bow tie. Very cute. They have cute recolors too. A little more fun, like the purples and the pinks and the blues. Mm. And then they also have a nice jacket with the button down shirt. I thought this was really cute. It would be good for a formal wear too, which is a little more relaxed than, you know, with the tie. I love it. As far as the bottoms go, there are none accessories, shoes, and there is no full body. So that's all we have for the boys. As far as the girls, let's take a look. So hairs, there is one hair. It is a very cute hair. And this is what I was talking about with the clips and the accessories being mm. just like a neutral color, like almost a rose gold or taupe, just a very subtle color. It does stay the same no matter what hair color you choose, but it's easier to mix and match your outfits according to, you know, your, your hair accessories. So. I think that's really adorable. Um, hats, no. Accessories, no. And of course, makeup, no. Now, if we look at the clothes, there is one top, which just has like this lace detail up top with um, a nice bow in the middle. And we can look at a few of the recolors. This one's a nice like ombre as far as the lace detailing really bright yellow <laughs> it's really cute I like it and then the bottom they do actually have one bottom it's a skirt and then um, as far as the skirt goes it can just be this plain solid they have lots of different plain um, solid colors but then they also have some plaids thrown in there which is nice because it's kind of like two skirts in one <laughs> So those are really, really cute recolors, and I like them. And then the full body outfit, we do have just one in there. It's a cute little polka dot dress um, with a little uh, vest over top, like a little sweater. Definitely something I could see a kid wearing going out to a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. And then the flowers really do match the ones in our hair. So you could tell they came from the same pack. But there's a lot of uh, recolors, some crazier ones, and then there are also solids. 
again, it's really easy to appreciate just having solids mm. as well, <laughs> as, as well as the other patterns. Um, no shoes and no accessories. So that's all we have as far as the creatism items go. Now we'll just go ahead and jump into an empty lot so we can take a look at all of the content um, mm. in the pack. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, build mode items first. So I believe we have some new doors. Let me go ahead and filter by dine out. And we do. We have two new doors. So I already went ahead and placed a wall just so we could see what they look like. So here's the first one. Just like a diner door with the peep poles. You can see the people coming through. Lots of different recolors. And then the other door, which I absolutely love. I love the clean lines, very streamlined glass door. I love the long handles. I think this looks really, really good. Um, that's the other door. Then in windows, this is lit up for me. I'm not sure why. I don't know if I'm missing something, but there's nothing in here. <laughs> and, and then for wall, sculp um, wall sculptures, there are two things. The first is um, a planted life. So just a pottery plant that is a wall decoration. And I am obsessed. <laughs> I'm going to use this so much there's lots of recolors for it as well it is too cute and then we have an awning that has multiple colors but the design does change so there's only one solid um, color the rest the design changes so it just depends on what type of restaurant and feel you'll have and your color scheme just to see if this will actually work but I do really like the fish one for some reason. <laughs> that one, that one's my favorite. And then in fences, I don't see any fences or gates. Um, what else is there? We did doors. I think that's it. We can go ahead and take a look at wallpaper because there are going to be new walls in here. Um, the first one is a modern wood paneling. So let's just select all. I really like this. It is modern, that's for sure. I could see using this in the restaurant, but I could also use it elsewhere. There are different colors, uh, recolors for it. Looks really good. The next one is the lofty brick. This one is just beautiful it is a distressed brick which has lots of different recolors and I could see this being used a lot I really I really can it just looks it looks so nice and then the last one is a determined brick now I like it I don't dislike it there's only three recolors but I guess it just depends on how you want to use it. I don't know. I just feel like the middle one is the only one that I could see myself really using because the, the other two, I don't know, just something about them. It throws me off. <laughs> I don't know what, but I'm going to go ahead and change it back over to this regular distressed brick. <laughs> And then we do have some new flooring. So, super exciting news. We have three new carpets. I am so excited because we are in desperate need of new carpets. The first one I really like. It's not just your typical carpet. It does have this um, striped pattern. It's called fiber grain carpeting, but it looks really good. There's different recolors to it, some blacks and some reds. Depending on the color, it can look really classy. Um, it can have like an animal type vibe. Um, to me, the blues 
look more like a water, you know? And then the browns, wood, I just think it, it has a lot of possibilities. It's my favorite of the carpets, that's for sure. I really like it. The next one is um, a rectangle dream carpeting. Um, this one's probably my least favorite carpeting because it is very, I don't know, it's chaotic. There's a lot going on. And I feel like you could only use this in one type of venue or setting. You could probably use it like in a retail store or um, a restaurant, but in your everyday home life, I doubt it, unless maybe in a kid's room, you could throw some blue or something in there, but heck, I am just glad that we got new carpet, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> and then the last one is the floral fancy carpeting. I like this one as well. Um, it does have like a floral vibe to it, and in the lighter colors, it is more subtle, so I feel like it will be easier to use in these lighter shades. Um, but even the darker ones to me still look good. So different colors there. Just want to show some of the contrast. The brown. That looks nice. And then we have the polished marble tile. This, this is really, really nice. Um, I love marble floors and designs. I just think it looks really good. The only marble we have in the game, though, is kind of lacking color-wise and detail-wise. But this one just picks up all of that slack, I feel like. This can be used in so many different ways, I feel. And it just looks really, really good. I love that it's tiled. Um, and I also just love that there's so many different rain colors i'm really appreciative of that that's for sure and lastly is the collect uh, collectible slate tile so i like this as well to me it looks more like an outdoor tile but i feel like it could still be used indoors as well it looks really good i, I think it's a, a really solid flooring I'm really happy that we got five new floorings. <laughs> I really am. So we'll go ahead and delete these. And then we'll go ahead and move into the build um, objects. Again, I did already run through these, so they're not um, brand new. They're not, um, they've already been checked. But I want to go ahead and try to do it in a, a little bit of an order only because there are so many items. So the first, I'm gonna lay out the chairs. So the first two chairs, and there's a bar stool. Lots of different recolors. Um, they all do have the same um, set of recolors, so they're all gonna look the same as far as colors go. They're very nice. I really like this chair with the black pattern because it does have, or the black color, I'm sorry, because it does have this pattern on the back. I think it looks good. I love this chair in the brown. I don't know why, <laughs> it's just just filling it. And then this bar stool right here. And then the next is something I'm excited about. These are the booths, so they are connectable. Again, same type of recolors as the chairs and the stools. But what's exciting is that you can make this as long as you want. It does have the connecting to it, so like a sectional. And it's just absolutely seamless in the back. It just looks really good. I'm really excited to use these. And then there's a second version too, as if one wasn't enough. We have another that is um, a higher back top with a different style cushion. So even these connect with the smaller ones. Obviously there's gonna be um, a difference because there's a height difference, but it still looks so smooth to me on how it does transition and connect. And then obviously we have the um, angled side as well. Looks so good. Okay, and then there's these different um, collections. So we have the small booth with the table. 
and then we have the um, just longer side with the long tape on. And then the next, as far as the tall back um, back board goes, we do have that with this table here. And then we have the longer one with the longer version table. Same recolors. But these are just the tables connected to them. And then the tables individually, we do have, again, something really exciting. We have the basic table right here but then they've also included high top tables how exciting like bar top or like a lot of restaurants have the bar top tables so the higher top tables i'm excited to see the animations and if they vary or any different because it is going to be a higher table but i think that's really cool and then we have the the versions of that so we have the basic low and then the high top <laughs> and then we have the longer version and then we have the high top longer version and then as far as the other tables go we have some um, dressed squared tables um, and dressed round tables different recolors in those I'm excited for these two um, you know for your obviously your restaurant, but also, you know, when your sims get married, have parties, I think, I think that'll be a really cute to have. And then we have the longer squared version and the even longer <laughs> version. So like a rectangle. So we have different sizes and let's see what else we have. So we covered the tables and then we have these um what are they called they're like hallway pieces so have your hallways help you exchange greetings in style so just like doc decorative hallways i think you can probably set things on top of them they're really really nice and they're slender so they can fit in a hallway different recolors and then the same thing goes for this one but it is a marble version which is really nice I'm happy about that. And they do connect up pretty seamlessly. So you could even make different designs, patterns, whatever you wanted to do with that. And then next, um, let's go over to the tabletops, um, tabletop items really quick because we'll be doing a lot of jumping around if not. But yeah, see that you can place things on top so these can go on tables so they could be the center pieces like this but they are just these really cute flowers that do have really nice recolors i really really like the recolors and we have quite a few of them which is exciting so we have short and then we have tall Again, different recolors. Sorry, let me zoom out a little. Different ones there. The other one. Oh, that's the same one. But here's another one. <laughs> and it has different recolors. And let's see. This one, probably my favorite just because it is so little and cute. It's just this little puff ball flower. <laughs> I think it's a vase. You can't even see because the flowers are so puffy. But I love the recolors. They're super cute. I, I just really love them. And I love the multicolor one. I mean, I know it'll probably clash with some things, but I just think it's really cute. And I haven't seen anything really like that yet in the game. And then we have some larger ones, some larger potted plants. We have the plant in the barrel. Just another cute type of plant. And then this one here with the bamboo sticks. Um, this one, the recolors are really cute as well. Add some color, pop of color in there. These are just um, more so basic. They just change the bottoms of the plants. Still super cute. Still really, really loving it. 
So, um, also, while we're over here, we might as well plop out the new aquarium. I'm really excited for this. I think it is a beautiful aquarium. I love the big coral reef. Looks good. Love the recolors. Fit any decor, that's for sure. But then we'll go over ahead, um, go ahead and jump back over here to look at the uh, wall decor that we passed over briefly. We have a new shelf. It's called the Master Chef Shelf. So three recolors there. Then we have um, the same shelf, but it has utensils attached to it. And again, they match up seamlessly. And also the same three um, recolors. And you can tell they're like a metal type. They look really cool, really reflective. And then we have um, our new sink. So I'm sure you've seen the new sink. The industrial type sink definitely a dishwasher type of thing that would be in the back but it only has three recolors as well and it just changes the faucet but I love it I love the sink <laughs> it's so simple but it makes me happy so we looked at all the flowers now let's go ahead and look at the different wall decor that would fit your different um, restaurant theme so these are all different and they do have different recolors also, but there's so many of them. I'm just going to go ahead and put them out. I might grab a different color of this one just so we can see it a little better. And then we have the like hamburger, some more dining utensils, the coffee. This looks like it might be more um, Asian themed or not, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to play with it as. Um, some more different signs. This kind of looks like a spa day, so maybe like Mediterranean food or something calming. <laughs> some more. This looks like it says ha to me. H-A, ha. <laughs> maybe that'll be the name of your restaurant. So there's lots of those. Um, and then we have some more decorative wall accents. So we actually... I forgot to do this, but we need to change the wall height because they vary in size. So this one is um, the medium. This one is the small. And then there's one more that is the large. So they do also come in different colors and patterns. We have some futuristic type and some red. And I love this one. I love the flower type detail. They come in, in lots of different things, so plenty to choose from. All right, and then we have Catch of the Day chalkboards. So this one is for fish, this one's for meat, and this one's for veggies. I think that's super cute that they have all three. This is probably my favorite painting or um, you know, new wall item in the game. I absolutely love this. It's a glass of nectar, <laughs> not wine, but nectar. Um, and I just, I just think it looks so classic. It has it with some bubbly <laughs> in different colors it's to fit whatever theme that you have. I love it. I just think it's a, a beautiful picture. And then we have another picture here. It is breakfast theme. So we either have eggs and oranges or we have pancakes and bacon. So this definitely looks like it would be like in a diner, but super cute, love it. And then the next one, we have these uh, leaf type designs, different colors. These are more vibrant and bright, kind of in your face, very cute. And then we have another, just some shapes, like geometric shapes. Also very bright and vibrant recolors. I think they look really good. And then this is also something I love. It is a collage um, and there's two different types. So here's the collage of just pictures, boats and houses and whatnot, and then the collage of portraits. So I, I love this to put in your home, um, you know, because it does have the different frame sizes, 
different shapes and whatnot. I just think that will look really good in like a nice family home. Either one, probably both. I'll probably put both in there. I really love this one. And then lastly, right here we have the um, cherry tree. So this comes in different recolors as well. Really pretty colors. I like that it comes like a really subtle and then like really bright. <laughs> I like that. And then we also have some new curtains. So yay for curtains. And they come in different heights. So we have the tall and then over here's the medium and then there's the small. And we do have some different recolors for those as well. Some yellow, some tan, some red and blue. Lots of different colors um, to choose from. And they're really nice. I like them. I do. And then next, here is something that is really cool and really exciting. It is the signage for your business that um, can be just customized and changed to however you like. So you see we start with just this blank sign on both sides um, and then we can change the color. We can make it look um, whatever color, you know, pattern or choice that we go with. So let's just go with the brown. And then the cool thing is we customize it by um, using this signage over here and placing it wherever we want on the sign and however we want. So if we decide we want the fork and the knife and the spoon with these letters right here, and that's our sign, that's it. And then if we decide we want three separate <laughs> eating and dining um, logos, we can. That's our, that's our logo. They've really made it customizable. I think it's really cool. Okay, so unfortunately my game did crash. Um, but I remember where we left off, so I'm just going to pick up there. We were talking about these signs. Um, and with the signs, there's three different versions that um, are completely customizable. The one that stands alone on the ground, the one that lays flat um, on the wall, and the one that does um, poke out from the wall as well. So again, completely customizable. You can edit um, all of the stuff on top really really cool so I laid everything out from here on out just because this video is going to be very long because this is such a huge game pack that was um, just you know filled with with stuff for a game so we just have some more decor items and then they did already um, give us pre-built signage that um, we could use if we wanted to and then we have just some more decor uh, menu in the glass, um, glass case, and then we have the rug, that's the no slip, no mess rug, something you would see in a restaurant for sure. Um, some different um, items that have the uh, backlit to them, so some more signage decor, they just have the lighting on the back. Um, same with this photo here. And then just um, a sign to hang out front. A really nice um, framed plant that has a mirrored back which I absolutely love and then we have some of the I believe it yeah it's extra virgin olive oil rack <laughs> and then some more signage right here it does have different themes depending on which swatch you choose and some more restaurant signage with the backlit um, some classy fish <laughs> I think that's what they're called school of class <laughs> and then we have the bubble backed um, wall so I'm pretty sure in live mode these um, little circles down here they produce bubbles so it'd be like um, a bubble wall some more boxed um, decor flowers and a nice um, wall option, which I believe can also go over top of windows as well as walls where you can see through it. Then we have some um, ship and some nectar decor items for the wall. I love this for the bar, looks really good. So if we flip on the back here, 
we have three humongous wall pieces I just um, colored them so you can see that there are more swatches they do stick out from the wall and they are massive this is obviously large medium and small if we keep going some more wall decor decor items um, a nice tree circle sign here this is a standing menu I think that's super cute and then we also have um, some room dividers so we have just the regular planked one here the one with the circle different colors also the tree type um, wall dividers in different colors as well and then we have this here which is um, industrial pantry rack and some vases I just did, um, recolored some so you can see there are options and then we also have the executive cave nectar cooler so a nice nectar cooler I'm so happy that nectar is making a return <laughs> and then um, of course the heating lamp for the outdoors which to me makes me feel like seasons may be on the horizon because why would we need a heating lamp if the weather never changes so <laughs> who knows we'll see um, and then I just laid out some of the um, tabletop items over here so just starting from this side we do have some menus um, they can be positioned anywhere on the table move objects is not on so they can just be positioned anywhere I think that is pretty cool and there are other um, color options and then we have a stack of I'm um, sorry a stack of business cards um, probably one of my favorite tabletop items the candles in the vase I think that's really cute and then we have a jar of olives and a jar of peppers <laughs> um, the salt and um, pepper shakers with the napkins I believe this is spices yeah spice box duo some pots and pans and some tea lit candles um, which also come in different colors as well so then if we flip over here to the back we have really the main event <laughs> this is the um, the chef station so this is how you cook and make the food in the restaurant so it is just one station it's not separate pieces it just comes as one but it's super cool we also got an industrial dishwasher that fits in really nicely you know it's very um, seamless when it comes to fitting in with the industrial kitchen so we do have that and then um, lastly we do have another option for this which I love it is the same kitchen but it does connect to a wall and the reason is so you can see through and I believe like the food and the items will be placed up here I haven't have game tested it but I imagine that's what it's for and so the people on the other side can just pass it through how cool is that I absolutely love that so uh, lastly just to take a look at the lighting I just built this little room over here we have several different um, lights which I am excited about as well because we we really did need it so this huge box light um, a very big circle light these decorative um, lights right here I think are so pretty they do come and a lot of different color swatches and then just some wall lights over here so these are probably um, my favorite wall lights these right here they come in a lot of different color swatches as well I just think they're so pretty I'm loving the blue I just I just think it looks really nice so I'm sorry this video is going to be so long but there's just so much in this pack that it couldn't even be avoided <laughs> I tried to make it as quick as possible but um, thank you so much for watching I cannot wait until I can start my dine out let's play I'm so excited I'm so excited to test everything out get in there with the restaurants it's gonna be so much fun but again thank you for watching and I hope everyone has an awesome day bye